We are rocking and rolling. God, I hate doing these. I hate doing these friggin' intros. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Chris. If you've been to my channel, welcome back. And if you haven't, come on in. Today, I am coming at you with a new video. It's been a long time coming. I've said I was gonna make this video. I'm finally making this video. I'm so sorry I took so long. But it's to talk about travel reimbursement for your insurance. So, not all insurances, obviously, will offer travel reimbursement. Mine did. Luckily, I have United Healthcare, And I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit because not many people are aware of it. I wasn't made aware of it until, I would say, seven months post-op I found out about it. It was because another person who works for my company mentioned who happened to be able to use it for their surgery so i was like oh wow bet according to my employer's united healthcare benefits guide for transgender patients we have a benefits guide which is awesome it might be that your insurance company your employer has provided a transgender benefits guide i have found it very very helpful so it doesn't hurt to find out if you have one we can receive travel and lodging reimbursement up to ten thousand dollars so as long as it's a network provider, either a surgeon or facility, more than 50 miles from your residence, so wherever you live in the United States, uh, as long as it's um, 50 miles away from your home address, uh, probably the one connected to your insurance, for example, and as long as you know, you're having surgery within the United States, then you are able to be reimbursed up to $10,000. That is amazing. I went ahead and obviously I paid for everything up front because I, I didn't know this existed. So I got my Airbnb, I booked the airlines um, for me and my best friend who came to take care of my ass. Actually, you are the MVP. I still am so thankful to this day for her for doing that for me. She took two weeks out of her life to do that. I'm gonna show you guys now what that form looked like. This is the United Healthcare Travel and Lodging Assistance Program form I was sent via email to fill out when I inquired about this myself. I believe it took anywhere from three weeks to a month before they finally sent me my reimbursement, but it worked. I imagine for each insurance, the form will look differently but all I had to do was fill it out and send it back to them. I hope you found that helpful if you came to learn more about travel reimbursement and what your insurance company can possibly provide for you. If you have any questions, you can comment below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like down right over here. I don't know if my, I hope I'm correct, somewhere down there. Subscribe if you would like. The next video that I will one day come up with soon, hopefully. I wanted to make a video about surgeons uh, in Florida because off the top of my head, I know of like the big three here in Florida, for example. I'm not gonna name names just yet, but I wanted to kind of branch out of those and do a video of surgeons who are in Florida and they also take ins uh, insurance. I might add a few that don't take insurance but are different than the typical one who is in Fort Lauderdale not naming names <laughs> but yeah so I just want to provide more of options that are possible for our community and are there um, if you do enough digging I have done some of that digging for you guys and for our community so I will be posting a video in the future of surgeons who are located here in Florida that take insurance and um, and if they don't take insurance, you know, ballpark how much it would be out of pocket. As many of you may know, I traveled all the way to New York um, for my surgery because at the time when I did my digging, I really could not find a surgeon here in Florida that would take my insurance. So yeah. Stay tuned for that and please hit the like button and subscribe. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching.